Hello there, Leah Steinkirk with Prowess Project, bringing you another technology tip this week. We're gonna take a look at how ChatGPT can help in the brainstorming process. We're gonna look at five of my favorite prompts to use when trying to help get ChatGPT to help me brainstorm new ideas for content. As an online business manager, it's important for you to have your own content in your nurture series to send out to potential clients, but then also sometimes during the day with our workflow, if we're working by ourselves, it's hard to come up with those new ideas for information that our clients may have asked us about. Maybe that is their own marketing materials or blog ideas, podcast subject matter. So I like to use these five prompts with Chat GPT just to help me in the brainstorming process. First, let's take a look at the scamper checklist. This is broken out in a very systematized way to help us take a look at the information in these different components. So you can see when I put that prompt into chat GPT, it gives me back the information's broken out like this. So it really helps my thought process to look at information differently. Next, a great one is just what are topics that are trending in my subject matter or industry. This helps me just get a new list from chat GPT, taking a look if there's anything that I have considered or have not and researching that further. Another one that I really like is the mind map. You can see that when I use this kind of prompt, the way in which the information comes back to me is in a different structure, which allows me to take a deeper dive into the areas that I'm, we're talking about and seeing how I can develop content in one of those specific areas. Using the prompt with assumptions about the subject matter. This again, gives me a way to look at information from the perspective of my, with my potential client or the subject matter that we're writing about. And you can see that I've asked it here to give me those assumptions, but then also generate innovative ideas for ways to help with these. So again, just great ways for me to dive deeper in that brainstorming process to find areas that I could then create information around. Maybe it's a visual, maybe it's content, maybe it's just a bulleted outline of how we can enhance the business offering in that way. Next, taking a look at the pain points. I really like this one. And again, asking it to describe the journey around this. This allows me to take a look at, again, it gives me what those are and then ways in which I can de develop more information around each one of those. So these are my five favorite prompts that I like to use in the brainstorming process. If you have other ones that you'd like to use in your online business management business, I'd love to see those in the comments below. Let us please reach out in any of our social channels if you have questions or ideas that you'd like to share with the community. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.